This week on At Your Leisure, Gene and I and the kids are joining UTV Utah in Green River as we venture out to the Crystal Geyser Trail at the first ever Watermelon Crawl. Then, Reese and Marianne are showing off the ultimate winter getaway as they take a cruise to the Southern Caribbean and Coastal Central America. And finally, we're hitting the slopes for a different kind of adventure as the folks from Brighton Ski Resort introduce us to the Avalanche Rescue Dogs. It's all sliding your way now. At Your Leisure is next. Check out that view. That's not something you can see from the interstate. Hello everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Kevin Mortensen. I'm Gina Mortensen. And we have two of our kids out here today and we are in Green River for the first annual, what do we call it? Watermelon Crawl. The Watermelon Crawl. How about that for a name? And we are with our friends from Gorilla Off-Road who brought a couple of their cool machines out today. And what and they call UTV this? And UTV Utah. Oh, and UTV Utah. And what do they call this? The Crystal Geyser Trail. Actually, this is the trail to the Crystal Geyser. I don't know the name, trail but it's the... right over there. But you know, if you're coming out here and you see the, the, the big tower, come on up here because the views are absolutely stunning. They're Facebook worthy, you guys. They really are. Maybe Mother even Nature Instagram. Is, uh, playing a little bit of games with us today. We're gonna have some fun. The trail looks amazing. The people are, are a blast. So let's go check it out. The trail that leaves right from Green River you can bring a, a truck or side by side on many parts of it. Um, lots of motorcycles. We came down to the Crystal Geyser. Lots of old missile based stuff out here. Lots of trails that crisscross from around the country. And you, you can see lots of sites, get up on high points and overview the river. Good ride, good company. Glad to have everybody here in Green River. Green River is happy to have the, the off road community here to support us. trail was absolutely beautiful. Views all over the place, some good little rocks to climb, the river view, the geyser. It was a great time on this trail. Oh yeah, straight out of the uh, Green River, make it right here. It's pretty awesome. Just the views, just the views off those cliffs. Uh, the cliffs, when you're driving down off the cliffs, and you can see the views of this the Green River. It's beautiful. We love At Your Leisure. I grew up watching At Your Leisure, love the outdoors, and this is where we truly feel alive. It's just a way to just get out and just just disconnect from, you know, just the chaos of the world and just come out and just be grounded and just look at the beautiful scenery of the geyser that's behind us and also um, the Green River and just, I mean, all of it is just so beautiful. The people, the scenery, everything. It's just so much fun. The Crystal Geyser is a, a big attraction for Green River. It's been around and people have wanted to come visit it for years. Uh, it goes off usually a couple times a day and, and we get all all types of tourists that want to come down and check it out. So this trail has a lot of cool and unique things on it. And I look behind me and it looks like a fort a bunch of teenage boys would build. But what is it really? Well, it was a bunch of teenage boys. The military did that. And one of the best parts about coming out and exploring the San Rafael Swale, the Greenville River area, is just that you never know what you're gonna find. There's always something different. And this is one of them. This is where the military used to launch missiles. That sounds cool. And you can walk through there and they still got the old, where the, where the detonators were and the, they've got the power. It's awesome. And there's a lot of really cool carvings in there from like yeah. all the people that have been visiting. And what did I tell you a minute ago about Mother Nature? She's being a little iffy today, thus the umbrella, but we're having a good time. <laughs> yes, we are having a good time. And while we try and go find places to stay dry and warm, we're going to send you guys off to this week's Where To. I'm Reese Stein with Mary Ann at your leisure on the ultimate winter escape, a cruise to the Southern Caribbean and coastal Central America. 
vibrant and ever-changing, the beat of the Caribbean is an irresistible lure, undoubtedly some of the world's best and most beautiful year-round beaches, tropical jungles full of adventure and beauty, human history back over a thousand years, and stunning colonial architecture that has survived nature's wrath. Marianne and I picked a cruise that hit it all and much more. We stopped at the ABC Islands off the coast of Venezuela. Bonaire, the B with neighboring A, Aruba, and C, Curaçao, has the oldest marine reserve in the world. Bonaire's many coral reefs are among the healthiest and most spectacular in the Caribbean, easily accessible on a day tour off the cruise ship. These shallow reefs in calm, warm water offer exceptional marine life and some of the world's best snorkeling and diving. A jaunty bus ride with enthusiastic driver Neela around surprising Aruba. This marine tropical island is the driest of the ABCs, what with brilliant sun, not much rain, and constant breezes leading to the dramatic desert landscape. But the gleaming white sand beaches and warm, clear waters draw crowds of sun seekers for swimming, diving, and snorkeling. A member of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, its capital, Orgenstad, features many lively buildings transformed into Dutch colonial landmarks, a wonderful city for a post-beach stroll and a bit of shopping. A pedestrian bridge links the two halves of Willemstad, capital of Curaçao, the Sea Island. Known for its colorful Dutch colonial city center, a world heritage site, Willemstad is also home to the world's oldest Jewish congregation in the Americas, dating from 1651. We also visited the Hatu Caves on the north coast. These caverns of marine coral limestone are a fun addition to a visit to historic Curaçao, as is the famous Senor Distillery, that has produced the island's namesake liqueur for 125 years. It's made from dried orange peels. Prost! Cartagena, Colombia on the mainland coast is one of the world's best preserved cities from the Spanish colonial period. Its walls and fortifications are the most extensive in South America and have protected this stunning historic city since the late 16th century. The things about Cartagena is, uh, is uh, the streets and the people, you know. Uh, we are Caribbean right here. It's, uh, it's the weather, it's the people, it's uh, the history. It's very nice, uh, very beautiful city, Cartagena. The formidable Castillo San Felipe de Barajas, a triangular-shaped fort, overlooks the main sea lines into Cartagena. A popular tourist draw, the fort, with its thick walls, intricate network of tunnels, is today used for social, cultural events, as well as governmental occasions. The castle, along with the city center, are protected as a World Heritage Site. The Spanish Inquisition seems an odd subject for a museum, but here it is in Cartagena, complete with the tools of torture and death. It's believed that 800 non-Catholics were killed here in the 17th century. Ironically, the museum is one of the city's best examples of colonial architecture. Near the coastal town of Santa Marta, an easy walk into the Colombian rainforest offers a stark contrast to the big city. The one mile long trail crisscrosses a shallow stream to a beautiful waterfall cascading off a rocky hillside, perfect for a relaxing dip and a more than ideal way to wrap up a trip to the Southern Caribbean. Reese Stein with this week's Where To Adventure in Colombia, South America. Isn't it time to slow down? To enjoy the view. To get some space. And to social distance. There's no better place to be than on the trails. Visit TooilaCountyTrails.com for your next adventure. Reason number six to spend the night in Duchesne County. A trip to Moon Lake can inspire tradition. 
those who discover its sandy beaches come back year after year. Discover the magic of Moon Lake and all the other reasons to spend the night in Duchesne County at uintabasin.org. At Stedman's Recreation, trucks are arriving daily with back-ordered side-by-sides, ATVs, and dirt bikes. Let Stedman's Recreation help get you outside so you can explore and create memories to last a lifetime. Call or stop by Stedman's to hold your side-by-side, -side, ATV, or dirt bike with a small deposit. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Beta. Plus, Stedman's has a full service department and Honda power equipment. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Coming down into the little valley and stuff, you can look over the whole thing. For me, I can just feel the, the stress just kind of melt away. There's so many trails to go up on and, and explore. The desert, and then you've got the lake, you got the mountains. It's just a little bit of everything. It's a little piece of paradise out here. Pretty much anybody that I've brought up here, they will ask, can we come back? Hey everybody, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Scott Huntsman at my Tunex shop in South Jordan. This is what's new this week. What is new is this 2018 beautiful Toyota Tacoma pickup. This happens to belong to my brother. I'm glad he picked this up, but I'm gonna help him out with this today. With the great product that I'm gonna to review today from Ready Lift, we're going to lift it so he gets a better ground clearance. After he's done driving on the highway and goes off road, that extra ground clearance is going to help him get to the places he wants to go explore. Let's get this inside. Let's take a look at the parts that we're gonna to use today. Come on, let's get going with this. This Ready Lift, is going to be a spacer lift. It's going to space the front springs of the struts down, which lifts the vehicle up. That's what these are for. For the rear, because it's a leaf spring suspension, it's gonna be a suspension block that's gonna go between the leaf spring and the axle housing. Also, these wheel spacers, we're going to install these on all four wheels. When we put these spacers on, we bring that track width back out. In fact, we even exceed what it was. That makes it safer, that makes it drive down the road better, and it's going to handle better off-road. All right, guys, so we're going to start out with this. I'm going to take a little baseline measurement. I'm about 34 and a half inches to the fender, and on the rear, I'm 35 and a quarter. Now, this is a baseline so that we know what to expect when we're done. All right, guys, so we're thick into it now, and we're doing all the hard mechanical stuff on the front of this. Part of that process was to lower this differential. The reason we lower the differential is when we raise the vehicle, we get too much of an angle on these axle shafts. So lowering the differential front slightly compensates for that. And that's the reason for these spacers right here. Now, I've got the strut in my hand. To get that out, we had to unbolt the lower control arm, the sway bar assembly. That's where this spacer comes in place going to fit right on there. We bolt it down, torque those. These are now the new mounts. We flip it around and on in it goes. In case we're at the back of the vehicle, we move the truck over to a twin post hoist. By doing that, what we've done is lowered enough to install the block. That block has a taper to it. What that does is that corrects the pinion angle of the rear axle for the drive shaft. So we lift it, but we retain the pinion angles already built into that. Also, this shock absorber, they gave us an extension to the stud. We just use a little hose clamp that's gonna retain that boot for us. We're gonna put it in. We're ready to get this thing on the ground, get it to alignment. All right, guys, last step. We're on the alignment table, but I am measuring. We're just a little more than 37 and a half. You know, that's perfect because it measures exactly the same at the rear. We're lifted and level, it's perfect. Last step is the alignment. That's very, very critical. And then I'm gonna give it a road test. I'm gonna try this thing out and get it dirty. Now, if you want one of these systems, come and see us here, Tunex, South Jordan or West Valley. We do them in-house, alignments, everything. We do it all. And um, hey, this really turned out great and it's gonna look good. I'm Scott Huntsman, more at your leisure in a moment. The Beaver County Trails Jamboree is back for 2021. 
Join us for four nights and three days of riding, exploring, and delicious food May 11th through the 14th. Explore Beaver County from the Frisco Kilns to the Mineral Mountains while shaking winter off and making new friends along the way. Register online and join us this spring for the Beaver County Trails Jamboree. This will be an outdoor event to accommodate the current situation. We'll see you soon. Sick of staying home? Getting outside and exploring great open spaces is now more important than ever. Spend your summer exploring Tula Valley, where there is so much, so close. Plan your escape now at TulaValley.org. The Old West is still alive in Jueb County. Stories of the past are hidden in the desert mountains. From relics of mining history to places of outlaw mystery, tall tales to be discovered and buried treasure to be uncovered. Jueb, the key county of Utah. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. Uh, you know, we had a great time out on the Tusher Rim Trail with the UTV Utah guys and Guy and, and, and Cody Webster. And now we're, we've come down in the town and we're gonna check out what's going on here. I know we've been to Green River before because we were here last year, but I only remember the food. <laughs> you know, when we came in last night, the I first thing I noticed was this neon sign that says, Welcome to Green River. Kind of had a Route 66 nostalgia to it. And when you drive down Main Street in Green River, it still has that old time 50s nostalgia and a lot of really cool things to see. I've seen museums, great restaurants. I'm really excited to go check it out. I too, let's go see. Should we go? Let's go. Yeah. So no trip to Green River is complete without a trip to the John Wesley Powell Museum. Come join us. Is that like Lake Powell? <laughs> now, this is amazing. Can you imagine going down the Colorado River in one of these boats? I can't imagine going down the Severe River in one of these this boats. This is absolutely amazing. You know, this is a fun museum. If you haven't been here and you're going to come to Green River, take an hour or two and come check out all the cool things they have. Upstairs from us right now is the museum that kind of gives the history of the area. So I learned about watermelon, you guys. I didn't know the history of a watermelon. It's invaluable for this area. Thus, the watermelon crawl. There's really a rich history here in the Green River area, especially with the Green River yes. as it flows down into what is now Lake Powell. And the Indian, you know, the ancient Indian history here, and then the pioneers trying to settle this area, this museum covers it all. But you know what I'm hearing Shelby yell? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Uh, let's, let's go, go check, check it out. out. Okay, if you absolutely love Green River, you're gonna to wanna to take a piece of it home with you. I am taking home a mountain lion mug because I like to hike and I have friends that think I'm gonna run into a mountain lion. Did it on this trip. You know, the perfect recovery from that ride has been to clean up at the hotel and come down to Green River and see the cool sights. That museum was awesome. I like the museum and I love my souvenir. You know, the kids picked up souvenirs. <laughs> like Gina got the souvenirs. Dinosaurs. The but, dinosaurs. You know, I heard were the food fun. here is pretty good too. Anytime you can feed me, I'm happy. So this is a good thing. You know, that when you think of Green River and you think of food, you think of two things, really. You think of Ray's Tavern, which is the world famous hamburger joint. And I hear they have the best fries in the state. Actually, I've experienced it. They've got really good food. But for he a went without me. <laughs> for a different type of experience, we're here at the Tamarisk. And I've eaten here and great food. You know, great the, cinnamon rolls, you guys. <laughs> you got to check out the cinnamon rolls. But you know the view too. Yes. Being able to eat while the Green River flows by that's really cool. And so we're hungry. 
We're going to send <laughs> you guys off to this week's Along the Way, and we're going to go eat. You may have heard the saying that dogs are man's best friend. Well, if one were to save you from an avalanche, you might have a whole new appreciation for that old adage. At ski resorts around the world, dogs are trained for this exact purpose, to find people who are buried in the snow. And for Peter Tucker, snow safety director at Brighton Ski Resort, training these incredible pups, it's his life's work. So my dog is a, uh, a black American lab. Her name is Tila Thundersnow, just Tila. She's one of our avalanche rescue dogs um, for both the resort and then she is also certified to work with Wasatch Backcountry Rescue. Luckily, situations where Tila's skills are needed are rare, but should there be a need, her sharp sense of smell has been trained to detect human scent from deep inside the snowpack. They're searching for human scent, but we turn it into a game. So to them, it's just a fun game. Uh, I'll sometimes run her down the hill before public is on the hill, just so I know there's nobody around. She can run free, do her, you know, just have some fun. And she hangs out up top pretty much all day. And, you know, we'll come out, do some obedience, do some playing, you know, maybe do a drill. Uh, but we are waiting and we want her to be energized. So if a call comes in that we have an avalanche, she's ready to go and ready to be deployed off the top. Keeping Tila ready for work is part of the job for Peter, and they accomplish this by doing drills where they bury their ski patrol colleagues in pre-dug holes and have Tila and other dogs perform drills to find their quarry. For our A-level test, there's anywhere from one to three people buried, and you have 20 minutes to clear that zone. And so a dog can clear a zone, you know, that big in 20 minutes or less. So in the first drill we had, I sent her out and then I did a kick turn in 180 and I saw her do a full head snap, which we refer to as getting in on the scent cone. And she beelined it right down to the hole and had that scent cone. And then she just started digging. And she knows that in order for her to get that reward, she's gonna have to work to get in that hole. And so she got to the first person in probably like a minute to two minutes. The second drill we did, she went to the other hole, got them out, and then, uh, you know, I restarted her and she went out. And within another minute or two, she picked up the scent on the second person and went right to it, dug right in and got him out. So yeah, she, uh, she did awesome today. It was great. And once Tila is ramped up and using her super tuned nose to play the game, she really begins developing those skills that could one day help her save a life. We train for a live recovery. That's our, you know, it's kind of every dog handler. Like you don't ever want people to be in avalanches, um, but every dog handler basically trains thinking if there were to be a slide, you know, just right outside our resort and I'm right here and I know there's no hang fire or something and we can get onto that, we do have a possibility of a live recovery. And with all this training and time spent working together, avalanche dogs and their handlers form an intense bond and become a truly remarkable team. It's a lot of work, but it's immensely satisfying, you know, and just to be able to, you know, bring your pup to work every day, uh, it, it just, it's, it's a great joy. It's also an amazing community here. You know, I think that's why pretty much most people patrol is they wanna sort of help, and this is just another way that we can. These pups are not only man's best friend, but also a lifeline to support outdoor enthusiasts when they need them most. For At Your Leisure and this week's Along the Way, I'm Nick Chase. Hey honey, have you seen this tire? Do you think we'll make it? Not on that thing. Don't let bad tires ruin your trip. With service stations at every location along I-15, we can get you back on the road with fast, friendly, professional service. Eagle's Landing has everything you need along the way. Even the things you didn't know you'd need. Get ready for the road at Eagle's Landing. My daughter and I had just finished a run at this place called Eagle Point. It's this really cool but kind of challenging ski resort that has a real family feel to it. 
She was so excited because she beat me down the run. Deja vu. I saw myself as a kid out skiing my mom. It was a big moment for me. And all of a sudden it hit me. I was making the same memories for her. Make Marysvale your hub for adventure. Nestled in the Tusher Mountains with direct access to the Bayou Trail. Explore history from Miner's Park to Butch Cassidy's Cabin, while blazing trails from mountain peaks to the shores of Otter Creek. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. Look what we found. We got the geyser. <laughs> and this thing blows off eight feet or so. I don't know, I've never seen it. <laughs> I haven't either yet, but they say it really goes. Eight feet? About eight feet. Is it consistent? Like, do the, how often does it happen? Look at these colors. It's just, this is just a cool place to this come. This is a photographer's dream. Yeah, this is amazing. I mean, you can get so many amazing can pictures up pictures? here. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Look, we're having a great time out here on the ride today. The Gorilla Off-Road Machines are doing fantastic. UTV Utah always puts on a great show. But listen, you know what? San Rafael Swell, you just never know what you're going to find. So while you guys go check out next week's show, we're going to go find something else. On next week's show, we're following a story that is years in the making as street legal ATVs have a long desire to make a loop of the Poison Springs Trail. And now, thanks to all the efforts of those at the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, that is becoming a reality. Then, we're teaming up with the folks from the Utah Arizona ATV Club as they're showing off Crocodile Trail in Johnson Canyon. Finally, we're joining members of the Lone Peak 4x4 Club in an off-road recovery class which is geared to help prepare off-roaders in the world of self-rescue. Now let's take a look at our contest winners. This week's winner was spotted around town and is license plate number V186WB. And it looks like they're the lucky winner of a full day UTV rental from the folks at Epic Rentals. Epic Rentals is the best place to rent anything with wheels. Visit EpicRentalsUT.com for more information. And it looks like they're also going to win a bonus $100 gas and gift card from the folks at Eagles Landing, which is the best place to get that real gasoline, Clear 91. Congratulations, and be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Next week's show looks great. And you don't want to miss any shows this year as we go around the state and highlight the best ATV trails from the best base camps. And today we're in Green River. And let's say you want to come out and find this geyser, just get on Crystal Geyser Road and leave town. It'll bring you right here. But today we took a few detours. Absolutely loved everything we saw and loved the company while we were here. I want to thank UTV Utah for all they do for the off-road community and Grill Off-Road for the great machine they brought with us. Loved it. It was in great condition. <laughs> Plus, how about those Gorilla Whips? Of course I like those. She mentioned I like that bling. <laughs> many times, those whips look cool. But you know what we always say, Utah's a beautiful state, there's, and there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself. At, At your, your leisure. leisure.